When I was growing up, I wanted to be the first female Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. And when I was 17, somebody else got there first. So I had to readjust my goals and keep going. I did my undergraduate degree at Newcastle University, and then I did an MBA at the London Business School, and I spent the whole of my 30s working as an investment banker. I started doing my PhD at the University of Hong Kong, and it was while doing that PhD and working full-time for an investment bank that I realised maybe I was being a bit ambitious and I ought to go and become an entrepreneur. So I bought a business and I expanded it all over the world. Then last year I was offered the opportunity to join Edinburgh Business School. My goals and ambitions change at different stages of my life. When I was 46 years old, for instance, I learned to fly an aeroplane. I have been a columnist in the Financial Times for 18 years under the pseudonym Mrs Moneypenny. And I also write books. My best-selling book is Careers Advice for Ambitious Women. What motivates me is a wish to get things done and a general wish to improve the lives and the opportunities for other people. I would like Edinburgh Business School to be a global leader in the provision of management education in tomorrow's markets. About 10 years ago, I set up a foundation to work with minority graduates in the United Kingdom to help them to get their first job after graduating. Over 200 graduates have gone through that program and are now working all over the world. I believe that the things that hold people back from advancement are actually the building of a strong network. And so trying to deliver that has been really my life's work. All of the courses I've designed for them to help them in their careers are coming here now to the Edinburgh Business School. So here we'll be on a scale of thousands not on hundreds. So I suspect my greatest achievement is in front of me.